So, what does the arati? Come on. What does the arati mean? This prayer. What does it mean? Well, um, the first part is a number of verses. How many verses? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 17-ish, maybe 18 verses that start with this phrase, Jaya Jaya Arati. Jaya Jaya Arati. So, what does that phrase mean? Well, roughly speaking, Jaya means praise. Um, it'll be good enough for now. Jaya means praise. And Arati is light. So it's praise, praise the light. But he says, what light? Well, many, many different kinds of light. <laughs> as many different kinds of light as there are kinds of God. Uh, so, one kind of light, infinite kinds of light, right? One light, many wavelengths. Um, so, what this prayer is, it's just a series of praises for the name of God. So, the first line, Jaya Jayarati Vina Vinayaka. Vina Vinayaka Shri Ganesha. Right? So, direct translation is, we wave the light for victory. So I suppose that's what Jaya Jayarati means, right? Because Jyotwi Sarupa, whose real form is light, is the, the, he's the supreme lord. So there's, there's, some Vedic, there's some Vedic patriarchy in the language, uh, which we need to, uh, need to acknowledge, right? Wave the light of victory. It's not, not exactly the metaphor that I want to be using in my life today. Um, I really like using light as a metaphor, but victory and, and talking about uh, Jyoti Swarupa as the Supreme Lord is... Um, well, it's, it's just, it's, a, it's violent language that we don't need. Um, but, anyway, I'm going to read the translation, and uh, you know, maybe, maybe one day we can come up with a better translation, yeah? Um, we wave the light of victory to Vina Vinayaka Ganesha, also known as Ganesha, right? Vina Vinayaka Shri Ganesha, right? Who's Ganesha? Ganesha, according to Shivananda, is the remover of calamities and who is all auspicious, right? So that's definitely not in the words that I just read. That's just Shivananda's translation. So you see these things, they're, they're interpretable, right? So like, I just read you the Shivananda translation. We wave the library victory to Vina Vinayaka Ganesha, who is the remover of calamities and who is all auspicious. But what's the actual words there? Jaya Jaya Arati, right? We wave the light for victory, or maybe just like praise, praise the light of, praise the light of Vina Vinayaka. Who's Vina Vinayaka? He's Ganesha. Who's Ganesha? Well, uh, you know, I guess uh, according to Shivananda, he's the remover of calamities and who is all auspicious. Uh, you know, but like Ganesha has an elephant face. So he's the elephant-faced god. Um, he represents that. <laughs> he represents, you know, everything that you associate with him. That is what he represents. And he also represents all of the culture and heritage of the lineage that he comes from. You know? It's a lot to represent. <laughs> it's very difficult to define what that is. It's, it's a quite a big deal. Um, and it's just a name, you know, among many names. Many, many, many names. So, what's the next line? Jaya Jayarati Subramanya, Subramanya Kartikeya. We, we wave the light of victory to Subramanya, whose other name is Kartikeya. So, Subramanya, Kartikeya, I don't actually know, know what those ones are. Um, you know, I suppose my reading of this prayer indicates my pretty deep ignorance of a lot of Hindu theology, right? I don't know who Subramanya is. Not really, I think he was a guru. Um, but I couldn't tell you what he did. And yet here I'm singing this prayer to him, you know, this, this name of this human, or maybe a god, that like I've never really heard of, have no context for. Um, so, yeah, maybe, maybe this is cultural appropriation, right? Um, that I'm, I'm taking part of another culture and 
and and using it for my own devices, right? Using it to, to make my own spiritual statements and re retranslating it in ways that like perhaps were not intended by their original creators. Um, at least I hope not. I mean, certainly that's true in some regard, but I hope not in essence, right? Like I'm trying to pull out the essence of meaning here, you know, something that, that goes underneath underneath all the cultural particulars. Um, but still, that means I'm cherry-picking from this tradition, right? Um, and, and I'm willfully ignorant of parts of it that I, uh, you know, haven't, haven't cared to learn yet. Um, yeah.